Okay, we're looking at the sine and cosine rule here, um, and we're working in radians. Now, radians you haven't seen a lot of, but it's just another measure of angles. And the thing you've got to remember is that 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. Okay, now, when you use radians on your calculator, make sure you've got R. All right, um, remember, therefore, that 180 is pi radians. Okay, and... The reason I say that is because we have a triangle here, don't we? So that all of these are going to add up to pi. And we've got 0.95 there because we've got an isosceles triangle. So this is pi minus 2 lots of 0.95 radians. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not massively crucial that yet, but it will be in a minute. Now... I've got a choice of sine or cosine rule here. I'm trying to find, it says I need to find the length uh, AD, which is this here. So I'm going to call that X. All right, and I think in the mark scheme that the exam's from, they call it X as well. So if you manage to find this question. All right, now, I'm actually going to use the sine rule because I've got uh, X over sine of uh, 0 0.95. All right, so the opposites here, okay, um, equals 6 over sine of pi minus 1.9, two lots of 0 0.95. And so there you go, I rearrange that, I get x equals 6 times sine 0 0.95 all over sine of uh, pi minus 1.9. Make sure you've got an R on your screen, not degrees, okay? You've got to make sure you do this carefully. And that should give you, where are we, 5.157 is what I got when I put it in centimetres. Okay, you could use the cosine rule. Um, that would involve, uh, where are we? So I would have to go... Uh, so I'm trying to find x, so it'd be x squared. So this would be, I'll just do that. Actually, if I do it in a different color, that'll make it obvious. So using the cosine rule, I'd have x squared equals, and that's the sides either side. Now, remember that this is x as well, because we've got an isosceles triangle. So x squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times x times 6 times cosine of naught point. Uh, nine five. All right, work that through again. You get exactly the same answer. It's a bit longer, but it doesn't make any difference. You just pick whichever one you like. Ultimately, um, you've seen this at GCSE level. It's it's the same sort of thing. It's just a little bit harder, but they can't ask it a lot harder because it's the sine and cosine rule. So as long as you remember them, and you do have to remember them, all right, you'll be fine.